So the first time that I was introduced to the concept of fugacity, I learned it as a corrected pressure. However, I don't think that's quite right. I think it's misleading. I think a much more accurate way of thinking of fugacity is as an escaping tendency. Thermo police, get him! Start into, into a, a five. five. The start of the line. It really mattered how hard you tried. But keep in mind, now energy's entwined. You can't fall behind. Here's thermo. Heat is a valuable thing. Turn it to work with the piston ring. Don't let it seep out in an exit stream. Take advantage of the steam. It's, it's not ideal. Can't stop our flow. We've got more efficiency than Carnot. Might throw a mattress states you don't even know. Boltzmann says you stack that thermo. We've got entropies and even delta G's. It all mixes in. What it meant to me was DPDPs, DSPT, it's all energy. You must pay heed to fluid speed. But he's okay. It doesn't even matter. It has to fall to lose it all. But he's a P. It doesn't even Delta H equals work sub S. It doesn't even matter how hot it gets. But keep in mind, I designed this turbine to be a vertical line. Follow your diagram, diagram. Don't run away. Escaping tendency. I think like you can just raise your fugacity. Figured you out. Now we know your activity. I'll solve you with Gibbs tubes. Aren't the way they were before. You can't even use two suffix anymore. Three suffix will fuel this. It always comes down to the mark. You list. You can't assume ideal or even that it's real. Try regular. Use the mole fractions equal interactions. Subtraction of like terms. You must pay heed to fluid speed. But he's sub K. It doesn't even matter. It has to fall to lose it all. But he's sub P. It doesn't even I studied until three, learned as much as I can know. I took my test, got my final grade in thermo. I studied until three, learned as much as I can know. I took my test. Got my final grade in thermo. You must pay heed to fluid speed. But he's okay, it doesn't even matter. It has to fall to lose it all. But he's a P, it doesn't even matter. Okay guys, so this is our device to visualize the Carnot cycle, right? Here is your cylinder. You have the piston moving in and out. Now what happens when I move it like this? 